A common question is why convertible cars are heavier than their counterpart hardtop of the exact same model. Uh, now the logic is that if you have a convertible car with a soft cloth top versus the regular car with the hard top, that the cloth is going to be lighter than the metal of the hard top. And this is true, but that's not the only difference between the cars. As an analogy, think of a regular car with a hard top as a box with a cover on it, um, and a convertible car as a box without that cover. Uh, it's, it's just an empty box. So if you apply a force to a corner or anywhere on this box, it's going to deform and bend very easily without that structure on top. Whereas if you have the regular car with, or the box with a cover on top, that cover is going to add strength and so it's not going to be able to bend as easy. Everything's more rigid. So the same thing applies with convertibles and hardtop cars. You're going to want a roof so that your car is more rigid so that the chassis alone isn't taking all the forces of going around a corner and then it's going to warp it and kind of bend it. So for a convertible car you're going to have to add a lot of strength in the sides of the car with uh, metal reinforcement so that it can handle the twist, the torques that you apply to the car uh, without, without warping it too much, without bending so much uh, because the chassis alone has to take all of the forces rather than a roof line which can help disperse it and keep your car much more rigid.